Good evening. The purpose of this week's video is just to run through the process I follow with HDR processing. Now, I have got half a dozen uh, RAW files in, in um, Camera Raw, which I'm going to merge together. They were all exposed at one stop apart. And the first step is to take them into Camera Raw and just to um, merge them together by uh, merging them in HDR. Now, the process with that is it effectively gives you a preview. Then you save the file and I save it to a to a folder that I've created in my factors folder. Now, when I have got this merged, I will start to edit the merged file. And the first thing I do is to crop it to 16 by 9. The next thing I do is just check that there's no uh, no dust spots. Then the next thing that I do is I do what's called sky select and I actually reduce the exposure of the sky by 75 points. That's just my way, my experience with that to get the sky to just match in with the uh, rest of the image. Now I've taken it into Photoshop and I'll do two things in Photoshop before I save the J final JPEG. So the first thing I do is I just put a white um, border around the outside. It's roughly a centimetre wide. And I'll do that in, in canvas size. And the final thing that I do is go into filters and put a smart sharpen filter over the top of the whole image just to sharpen it up a wee bit. So that's my that's my work process for HDRs. Uh, HDR works for some images and for others it doesn't. Uh, things that where you've got movement in the image, it just doesn't work. So thank you very much for watching. I do appreciate it. If you're new to the channel, please subscribe to the channel. I'll be doing more of these sort of short videos on processing as I go along and uh, if you have enjoyed the content please press the like button and if you want to give me some feedback please do so by putting a comment in the comments field. Thank you very much.